Rick B's Daily Vlogs. With AT&T in the background. Tomorrow, they honor one of the greatest players in Giants history. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Came back to the Lumix. iPhone was cool, but when I went to go upload and do all the other things when I got home last night, kind of got annoying. So today, switched back to the Lumix, my trustworthy camera that I used to vlog with. Well, I still vlog with all the time, but today we're in China Basin and fitting enough tomorrow they're saying goodbye to the San Francisco Giants legend Stretch Mac, Big Mac, Mr. Willie McCovey. And right over here, his statue, where a lot of people is paying their homage. Let's go. Right over here, just across the given name, the McCovey Cove, across from AT&T Park. He's forever embedded with a statue, Willie McCovey, who passed away Halloween of this year, October 31st. Again, nickname Mac, Big Mac Stretch, played 19 seasons baseball. Most of those seasons he played with the San Francisco Giants, where he ended his career July 6th, fitting enough with the team that he started playing with, San Francisco Giants. But the memorial is growing of the men who made his name and himself famous with the one team that he grew in love. 2-2 two -two pitch to McCovey. Drive to deep left field. Back goes Crawford. Still going back. It's gone! A grand slam home run! Williams scores. Bond scores. Power scores. McCovey rounding third base with a 14th grand slam of his major league career. The Giants lead 8-2. to two. Willie McCovey. Right here you can see everybody has brought things and memorializing him. There's an autograph picture of him right here. Can't see who's Jack Clark. Looks like the name Jack Clark right there. You got this big nice reef and if you back up it says McCovey number 44 and again a bunch of memorabilia that people brought to honor one of Giants greatest. This one is a picture someone brought of him right there. Wind blew it up, but look at all the flowers, the baseball cards. Someone even brought a picture of them with Willie McCovey. And this goes all the way around the memorial for Stretch. Willie McCovey. And look at this big one right here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool homage to one of San Francisco's greatest players.
Now back in the early 90s when AT&T first moved over here and if you're familiar with this park if you go across to King and 3rd Street there's a big statue where they got Orlando Cepeda over there by the 3rd Street also uh, I think this man Willie McCovey should have been over there Orlando Cepeda legend this man is a giant he's a true giant he spent his whole career an exception for the two years that he was in San Diego or the, the two teams San Diego and Oakland that he played with but his heart was always here in San Francisco always as a giant so this statue should have been over there right across over there just that's what I think I think it should be moved but I don't know the team when they moved the statue or when they placed the statue over here fittingly enough they named this cove right here Barry Bonds hit a lot of home runs they named it McCovey Cove and it's forever gonna be McCovey Cove and if you look at the side of at t Park it's a big poster big giant poster of Willie McCovey and tomorrow at 11 a.m. they're doing a public celebration of his life right there and you can see the flags are in half staff half mass whatever you want to call it to honor again one of the greatest legends here Willie McCovey you pitch to McCovey Drive to deep left field. Back goes Crawford. Still going back. It's gone. A grand slam home run. Williams scores. Bond scores. Power scores. McCovey rounding third base with a 14th grand slam of his major league career. The Giants lead 8-2. Willie McCovey. I was fortunate enough to watch some of his games in the 80s or in the 70s before he retired was able to watch him play his last season with the San Francisco Giants was able to watch some of his games with Oakland and at the time when he played with them still slugger that he was still had a lot going for him sad to see him go again San Francisco legend giant legend and his nicknames are all right there stretch Mac and Big Mac. October 31st, 2018. Halloween will always be the day that we remember that we lost Willie McCovey. But Willie McCovey was one of their own. Summoned in late July of 59, Stretch was an instant smash, going four for four against Robin Roberts in his debut. And despite playing just 52 games, was named Rookie of the Year. I came up in uh, July 30th, I think it was, and I went 4-4 four four against Robin Roberts and went on to hit 354 that year with 13 home runs. Which they capped off by beating the Astros to pull within a half game of the Dodgers on the last day of the season. Then came the agonizing wait. Every second pitch, I had a line drive that I thought and everybody else thought was a base hit that was going to win the series because we knew Mays was going to scroll from second base, but I didn't know Richardson was standing there. I found out later. All right, guys, it's going to do it here from McCovey Cove, the man forever giant standing right behind me right there. So, Willie McCovey, may you rest in peace. Thank you for all the great memories you've given us throughout the years. Thank you for always being an advocate for the San Francisco Giants. Thank you for being a giant. Again, thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, tomorrow, 11 a.m., do the memorial party, remembrance for Mr. McCovey at at t Park. Come out, enjoy, and let's remember the man who brought baseball, pretty much, to San Francisco. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go peace. But Willie McCovey was one of their own. 
Summoned in late July of 59, Stretch was an instant smash, going four for four against Robin Roberts in his debut. And despite playing just 52 games, was named Rookie of the Year. I came up in uh, July 30th, I think it was. And I went four for four against Robin Roberts and went on to hit 354 that year with 13 home runs. Which they capped off by beating the Astros to pull within a half game of the Dodgers on the last day of the season. Then came the agonizing wait. Every second pitch, I had a line drive that I thought and everybody else thought was a base hit that was going to win the series because we knew Mays was going to stroll from second base. But I didn't know Richardson was standing there. I found out later. Thank you for the great memories, Mr. McCovey. Forever 44.